Kenya Airways, let's talk appointments. Okay, when President Kenyatta appointed some old politicians to head various boards, Kenyans online felt that the youth are in this particular country are being neglected. They deserve a chance to show their skills and gain experience in various sectors of the economy. But this is not the first time the president has appointed the old faces. And Masharia looks are the elderly serving in this youthful government. On Wednesday, President Uru Kenyatta appointed former Vice President Muria Wuri to the Board of Kenya Sports, Arts and Culture. This unsettled citizen who issued backlash condemning the president of having daylight in appointing the old. And in a rather lighter touch, the president seemed to have explained his addiction in appointing the old guards in a country where youth unemployment is a national challenge. I'm being criticized. I could see yesterday that I'm appointing a 91-year-old to, to look after the youth sports fund and all. Lakini jameni, let me put you, you put yourself in my shoes. Ukiwana vila watu wanaiba pesa. And this is money that we went and we passed the other day because we want to see how we can use this money to support us for our health programs, for our sports programs, for our arts programs. And these are programs that will benefit you. Alafu tuseme, tupatie kijana, Having ascended to power on a theme of youth, this might be seen as a double standard where the president seems to have abandoned the spirit of jubilee and youth. The likes of Awari's appointment is not new. Some of the public officials serving in Kenya cabinet presidents include Manu Chandaria, who's 89 years. The billionaire businessman is perhaps the oldest Kenyan who holds a public service job. Being a successful entrepreneur is not how fast you make money. Don't be fast to make money because that results in you taking shortcuts which tomorrow you will regret in life. Matt Wamai, who's 79 years, like Muthaura, Wamai served under all the four presidents, starting out as CEO of ICDC in 1969. The octogenarian continues to the chair of the new KSCC board after President Uru Kenyatta gave him a third year in new contract that will expire in 2020. Matson Madoka, 75 years, the current chairman of the Kenya Ports Authority, served as Mze Kenyatta's aide de camp and married President Uru Kenyatta's nanny. Chris Obure, 75 years, the former key seat senator, became the oldest chief administrative secretary after the president assigned him to the Ministry of Transport, Infrastructure, Housing and Urban Development. In 2017, he unsuccessfully vied for the key seat governor's seat on a jubilee ticket. Ramadan Kajembe, 74 years, the former Changamwe MP, was plucked from retirement in 2016 after President Uru Kenyatta appointed him chairman of the Kenya Ferry Services. Francis Muthaura is not new. He's 71 years. Muthaura's career in public service started in 1972 when he served at Mombasa District Commissioner under Kenya's founding president, Jomo Kenyatta. The 71-year-old has held senior government position under all the country's four presidents. Kenyans are synonymous with the motto, Youths are the leaders of tomorrow, and most have asked, when is tomorrow? Anne Meshereke TV.